the coronavirus. The disease is now officially in 85 countries, and it has over 95,000 confirmed cases. And it's the reason even white people have switched to the fist bump. <laughs> and explode. <laughs> now, here in New York, because the city is so crowded, the risk of coronavirus is especially dangerous. Because, you see, if corona can make it here, it can make it anywhere. <laughs> and that's why city officials are taking action. The MTA is stepping up its cleaning efforts to prevent the spread of the coronavirus on public transit. Workers are disinfecting 427 subway stations, wiping down the turnstiles, handrails, and ticket vending machines daily. In addition to that daily cleaning, the MTA says its full fleet of subways, trains, and buses will be sanitized every 72 hours. That's right. New York is trying to keep the subway clean to protect riders from spreading coronavirus which is a noble instinct, but good luck trying to keep the New York City subway system clean. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually hear that paper towel screaming. Ah! <laughs> and by the way, maybe I'm just noticing it now, but, like, was I the only one who was like, wait, now they're cleaning the subway? <laughs> what were they doing before? Oh, well, now we'll clean it every 72. What were you doing before? <laughs> Although that video is a little bit funny because it actually looks like we're cleaning up so we can impress the coronavirus when it arrives. <laughs> yeah, so the coronavirus is gonna come on the subway like, wow, is this for me? <laughs> but for real, though, everyone on the subway is taking the threat seriously. If you ride the trains, you know what I'm talking about. People are avoiding handrails. The rats are wearing little hazmat suits. <laughs> yeah, even the subway masturbators have switched from lotion to Purell. <laughs> yeah. It burns, but it's responsible. And remember, you have to do it long enough to sing happy birthday twice. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Because while humans are worried about getting wiped off the planet, there's another species that might be coming back. Scientists say that they've discovered dinosaur DNA, along with other biological material in a fossilized skull in Montana. Now, the skull belonged to a Hypacrosaurus, which was a plant-eating, duck-billed dinosaur, which has been extinct for around 66 million years. Now, DNA is only expected to survive a million years. So if the discovery is confirmed, it would change our understanding of biology. Okay, it may change your understanding of biology. <laughs> I already didn't know any of that shit. <laughs> what I do understand is for the first time ever, they found actual dinosaur DNA. And guys, if, if we have dinosaur DNA, we have to make Jurassic Park. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, look, I, I know, I know we've seen the movies. I know how it's gonna end. <laughs> but those first two days are gonna be dope. <laughs> It's gonna be so much fun. Like, if my options are dying from coronavirus or a velociraptor, I know what I'm choosing. <laughs> yeah, gas up that bubble thing. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> you know, I actually, I actually feel bad for dinosaurs if we bring them back, you know? Because everyone assumes that if they'll return, they'll kill us and take over the world. But shit has changed, my friends. Yeah, the fast food industry does not mess around. Yeah, <laughs> once Popeyes sees a big meaty animal walking around, <laughs> Yeah, it's two weeks until we're all like, love that T-Rex from Popeyes. <laughs> and imagine, can you imagine what it would be like for a dinosaur? Because we're always like, dinosaurs could come back. But we are expecting them. For them, if they come back in modern times, there's gonna be one dinosaur, the first one looking around like, everything is so different. <laughs> there's cities, there's cars, and I don't understand. Oh, Bernie, hey! <laughs> Bernie! Good to see you again! <laughs> Hello, Cole. Hello, Carl, we need to talk. I need your help. Did you pass Medicare for all? It's getting close. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, some news from the tech world. If you're worried about being canceled because of your old tweets, well, help is on the way. Twitter is starting to test tweets that disappear after 24 hours. The company is calling the new format Fleets because of their short-lived nature. The feature is similar to Instagram stories and snaps on Snapchat. Fleets won't be available to be retweeted and won't have likes, but people can respond to them. That's right. Soon, you'll be able to post tweets that get deleted automatically after 24 hours, which means the Oscars can have a host again. Yay! <laughs> and I think... I think more apps should incorporate this feature. You know, like they should say, if you send a text message to someone you like, 
but they don't reply, that message should also disappear automatically because I'm not a loser. <laughs> He's gonna leave me on red. And as much as I like this idea, I think there are a few ways that Twitter can improve it even more. Like, they should say if you send a tweet after midnight, it automatically deletes itself after two minutes, yeah? <laughs> no one says anything good at that time. They should also have another feature that if the president sends a tweet, they should delete before he hits send. Yeah. <laughs> you can have that disappear. They just be sitting there like, all these Mexicans, all these Mexicans. <laughs> I'm hungry.